Hi, after yesterday's good old run in the Lomax, I did some more today, uh, playing about with it, uh, wee bits here and there, uh, hopefully this video will turn out alright because the sun's really bright, it's a cracking day here. I've decided to paint the inner rims of the, the wheels, uh, you know the actual rim itself, uh, with a green that's as close as I can get to the colour of the car. Um, being the gel coat, they can, they can be a wee bit patchy and I remember when I, I tried to get the, key to the, the paint made up the guy, the guy had said, well which bit do you want me to match it to? <laughs> ah dear, so the colour he actually mixed up for me is a wee bit in the dark side, I have to say uh, but it's fine so I've done the wheels, I quite like them like that I've seen a, a number of the pictures of Lomaxes with it I thought about my shadow, not much I can do about that, it's, it's life <laughs> and there's the front one as well Again, not easy to see. Um, I'll come round this way. It's a bit darker, obviously, because the, the sun is not on this side. Uh, but it might be easier to see. So, that's the uh, <coughs> the back one there. And the front one, obviously. I've done all four of them. Um, I don't think I've quite enough paint left to do the spare. But, well, anyway, that's it. The side screens are sitting inside the car, and we are up to 463 miles since we bought it. So there we are. Um, I'm actually waiting on uh, two little flasher units. I was going to make up my own one for the hazard lights, uh, but I thought, ah, why, why bother? Those are really quite cheap. A couple of motorbike ones that won't run LEDs. Now, I fitted two LEDs in the front, which are considerably brighter than the, uh, the filament bulbs uh, and funny enough the flasher unit still works uh, <laughs> all right um, it's, it still ticks away and the, the speed of the lights are quite okay but of course if you put two LEDs in the back it just stays on oh, it don't draw much current so the one I've ordered well, the two I've ordered in fact um, are uh, suitable for LEDs uh, I might be a wee bit obsessed with this, but because of the car size and its vulnerability, I tend to find that larger vehicles seem to, um, well, it's not the vehicles, it's the people that drive them they seem to be oblivious uh, to smaller vehicles. And I've heard this from friends of mine that have a Mini, uh, and they've had uh, some, some very, very near escapes by some of the ridiculously bad driving uh, that is on the roads these days and they, 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 they feel very vulnerable. And like myself, um, they do fit brighter light bulbs, um, LEDs, etc. to their cars, especially at the back. I've already done the stop tails with LEDs, which have improved the brightness considerably. Um, but the indicators uh, could also be doing uh, with these lamps as well. I was thinking about putting a side repeater flasher on the side, but I'm not so sure. Uh, I don't know whether it would spoil it or not. Uh, I, I don't know. But it is something I'm considering doing. Um, again, for uh, safety reasons. Uh, it's not really going to go out at night, to be honest. But during the light, uh, the daytime hours and the light, um, people just seem to ignore them. Uh, they think, what's this daft so-and-so doing out in this car? Uh, I'm far faster than him, I can do this, that and next thing, but uh, to be quite honest with you, <laughs> uh, they don't know much about 2CVs and uh, you know yourself that a 2CV is impossible to roll going forwards and the fact that this has got even lower centre of gravity than a 2CV and lighter weight um, and with the 652cc engine, the Visa Carb and the Tune Plus Ignition uh, it's got a wee bit more power, uh, to be fair. So uh, uh, it's quite happily keeps up with today's modern traffic, etc. And is actually quite good on a motorway. Uh, but uh, I've really horsed this thing on round corners and uh, country roads. Oh, by God, it sticks to the, ro the road. Yeah, um, and I've caught up many, many big, but much bigger vehicles uh, with their stability control and all that uh, nonsense. Uh, and been right up their tails because they're, as far as I'm concerned they're too slow uh, well I don't go right up their tails but you know what I mean um, I've caught them up and I think that's probably annoyed them 
uh, and they try to get the foot down and go faster, but they're, they're, they're going all over the place. Now, they drive like clowns. They think they're, they think they're supreme, they're supreme. But anyway, that's that's life. That's life. Um, I've enjoyed this wee thing. Uh, it's good fun, and it goes well. So I just thought I'd give you a wee update uh, on this. And I'll say I've enjoyed my my trip to Glasgow and back yesterday. I could do about 70 miles an hour, come back down to M77 and, and places 75. So um, quite good. And I could have done a lot more in the downhill stretch stretches. I can. It would have. It would have gone over 80. But uh, of course that's illegal. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the weather if you're getting the good weather like we are here. All the best. Ta-ra.